Wolf from Armory Train, and today I'm joined by my special guest, Mrs. Dalen, who teaches STEM at Kinchler Public School in New South Wales. Also, she's my mum. <laughs> and today, we're going to run through and build some of these mushroom men. Yes, the camera's a long way away, but we'll be zooming in on these pretty soon. Now, to build a mushroom man, you're going to need three components. You're going to need a wooden base. I have some of these nice little square ones cut, but you could use a round one from Bunnings or any shape you like. But just a nice heavy base that they'll stand up on. You'll also need a pool noodle. Now, it doesn't matter whether it's got a hole in it or whether it's solid. We're going to cut this down to somewhere between 150 and 250 millimeters in height. And the third piece you're going to need is a floor mat, just the EVA jigsaw floor mat. And as you can see, I can get nine mushrooms out of this mat. Now, how did I decide the size? How did I decide the size of the circle? Well, that's easy enough. It's the size of my mixing bowl, which is a six-inch hemisphere something French and this came from Spotlight for about $20 and it's nice and round so we're going to cut these out and then I'll show you how to heat form them and don't worry class you don't have Wyatt there so you guys all know how to listen okay we have our circles cut out of the foam now what we're going to do is use a heat gun to warm up the foam and then press it into the bowl to give us a nice curved thing but these heat guns get really, really hot. If you hold paper above it, it'll burst into flames. Now, there's a very good reason that I'm doing all the mushroom packs for you instead of letting you use this heat gun. This is just a piece of rolled up newspaper. And watch what happens when I hold it just above the heat gun. Now, yeah, I'm not touching it. It's already smoldering. I'll just hold it there for another little moment. And check that out. We're on fire. Now the heat guns are hot. If you touch them, you get a permanent brand. So that's why you guys aren't going to get to use the heat gun there at Kinchler School. But hey, it's better safe than sorry guys. So anyway, using a pair of pliers to hang on to it, we turn the heat gun on. We heat the foam over it. And as we heat the foam, we have to heat both sides. Now you could also use kitchen tongs for this, but make sure that the silicon ones are not the metal ones, or you'll get a really bad imprint in the side. So once it's nice and hot, we put it into the bowl. Make sure the textured side is facing you, otherwise the mushrooms are going to have all the texture on the outside. And then using something that's not your finger, push it into the bowl. Might be a little bit stiff to start with, but you don't want to be putting your fingers on it because it's hot. It's hot, hot. Yep, that's hot. Okay. Now just a little bit more heat to help set it. Okay. Now that it's in the bowl, you can see it's hot enough that it's actually melted part of the rubber. Now you can either leave it in the bowl for half an hour to 45 minutes to cool down completely or you can get a wet cloth and take all the heat out of it. Now the reason that we want to make sure it's cool before it comes out is if it's warm it's going to flatten back out. So you can see it's made quite a nice little dome there. So, now for the second one. Would you like to do this one? There we go. Guys, go hold a bit of foam. Oh, yeah. As I said, at that height, or even twice that height, it'll ignite paper. Yeah, it's burning my hand You can go up a little bit high, maybe an inch or so, yeah. And I flip it over to hit both sides. Yeah, you burnt that a bit. That's all right. That's right, this is what happens when it gets a bit hot. It just means it gets sticky. But that's okay. 
Uh, yep, yeah, just keep circulating around so it gets the edges as well. Yep, yeah, that's all good. Let's drop it into the bowl, other way up. So the smooth side goes out. Smooth side goes yeah. out. Otherwise you get all the texture on the outside of it. And have I ever done that with a mushroom? Probably. <laughs> yes. Many, many times. And had to reform it. Yeah, it might be a little bit stiff, but just push it down into it with something that's slightly rounded so it doesn't cut into it. Because that, at the moment, is hot. Now I've got really tough thumbs because I play heat all the time, but don't recommend touching it. Well, even the outside of the bowl is hot. Yeah, it is stainless steel, so it transfers a bit of heat. And then we cool it down. Okay, now while these are sitting to dry, what we do is we grab our bases and a permanent marker of some description, of which there's many here on the table, and our piece of piece of pool noodle is the word I'm looking for, and we mark where we want to sit it on the base. Now why are we bothering to do this? Well, we're going to attach it with hot glue, and if you put the hot glue straight on the pool noodle, it melts quite a bit. It just sinks in as all the um, cells collapse. So what we do is we draw it on, put the hot glue in a circle around it, and then stick it down. Right, now that my glue gun is hot, I'll show you what happens with this off-cutter foam if you put the glue straight onto it. This is what happens. You get a nice deep crater, and nobody wants to destroy their, their piece like that. I mean, it's just bad news. Oh, it is. So, what we're doing instead, we've got our mark on our base, whatever sort of base it is. Put a nice, generous amount of glue on. There you go. Thank you. And we're going to let this cool for uh, 10, 15 seconds, maybe 20. You know, a little while, until it's not steaming hot anymore. But before it starts going back to white. So about this length of time isn't too bad. Okay, stick that down and hope that it doesn't melt too much. That's not too bad. Okay. Now if your pool noodle has words down the side of it, I'm going to strongly suggest putting just a strip of masking tape over it before you go any further, just so it doesn't show through. Because that's the last thing any of us need, is to find out that our mushrooms are not toys. Because I think my mushrooms are toys. I might have mushrooms on the brain. Don't worry about me, guys. Okay. See, it's stuck, look. Mine's now that stuck. it's stuck to Ooh. the base, we can put the top on. Now you can be boring like I have been in the past and put the tops on flat or you can put them on, on a bit of a jaunty angle or any other way you want to do it. It is after all your mushroom man. So once again we put the glue in the cap. Now if you're worried about where to put it, I've just eyeballed this, you can put it on top and draw around it. Uh -huh. so I've actually gone a little bit big with my glue. Oops. Let's go in a bit closer. Right. Not being as experienced as you, I'm going to draw the circle. Okay. And once again, guys, let this dry or cool down just a little bit. And then you can place it on top of your pool noodle. You'll be using the glue gun yourselves, if you're strong enough. Oh, it's hard to get it to come out. That's because you need oh. a new glue stick. Oh, okay. So it pushes it through. It does. Come out. And with that, we're done with the hot glue until it's time for decoration on the sides. There's my very pretty little mushroom man. Look at him. It's Actually, definitely a start. Wait till you see him finished. Okay. Now that your mushroom is assembled, 
we've got to start making it look like a mushroom man instead of just green and yellow. Oh, that's akin to your school colours. Ah, green and yellow is not too bad then. Okay, so what we need is a mix of PVA glue, and glue and 60% water, and some tissues. Just normal household tissues. Mine come in a pink box because I'm special. Okay, some brushes are probably a good idea. Here's one for you. Thank you. And here's one for me. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is grab your mushroom, put your brush in the glue pot, and give the stalk of the mushroom a nice coating of glue. All around it? All the way around. Why do we do that? Okay, we do this so we can stick the tissue paper oh, okay. to it, or the tissues, not tissue paper. That's another thing entirely. Right up under the lid? The, I mean, the, uh, what do you call up the top, to the of top the mushroom? The cap. The cap. Okay, up to the cap. Up to the cap. So, once we have our stalk nice and damp, grab your tissue, fold it in half down the fold line, and stick it onto your stalk. Pretty complicated stuff, this. Once you've got it on your stalk, wet your brush again and paint the glue over it. So you can see that with only one layer of tissue, it's already picking up a little bit of texture from the tissue and that's what we're after. So we're going to cover these with three layers of tissues and then show you the special bit. Okay, now that you've got the tissues on and you've got this lovely texture... And it's have... not as easy as he makes it look, but I've had trouble, so you probably will too. So it's patience, patience and more patience, kids. Now, if you have any bubbles where it's not stuck down properly, just get a nice wet brush and push it down a bit harder. And it should all stick as the glue joins to the other glue. Now, whether you've got three or four layers, just so long as the colour doesn't come through too much. Now, we're going to put these aside to dry. We're actually going to cheat and use a hairdryer to dry them, but you guys are going to have a week to let them sit and dry. So, do that. But please, make sure you go and wash out your brush, or otherwise you're going to have to throw them out because they're going to set hard, and you're going to need these for the next bit. Okay, so we have our mushroom. And it's a mushroom. How do we make it look cool? How? do we put the face on? That's what we're going to do now. But this is a messy stage, so if you have long hair, tie it back now, because your hands are going to get sticky. You don't want to put them anywhere near your hair. Now we've put cling wrap down on my table to help protect it. And now with the tissues and the glue, we get the tissue and once again, fold it in half, on the cling wrap, so sorry, hands in the way. And what we're doing is painting the tissue with the glue. Well, it's nice and wet. That's why we put cling wrap down because you'll over paint, no sweat. Then fold it in half and paint it again. And then guess what? We're going to fold it another time. And more glue. Yuck. Sticking yep. to me. Sticky, horrible stuff. Oh, and it splits. You've got to be careful. Okay. More glue. Now that we have it to this stage, you can just fold it in half and you should have a nice sticky sausage of paper. And this is the stuff that we're going to shape our face out of. So work out where on your mushroom you want the face to be. And I'm going to tear this into thirds, probably, and shape it. Best way is put, lay your mushroom on its side, not in the sticky part. I've just put it there so you can see it on the camera. And then this first part's going to be lips. So you lay the lips onto it however you want them to be, whether they're smiling or frowning or scowling or whatever. 
Now, if this, when you squeeze it, nothing's coming out, it's not wet enough. Oh. We really want it to be wet and soggy, so it's almost like clay. So, paint more on it. So, I can see why you say about sticky fingers. Oh, yeah, very, very sticky fingers. And once it's on there, it's just a matter of pushing it around until you're happy with the shape of it. Now I'm going to have a small mouth on this one. Mm, me too. And then with the third I've got left over, I'm folding it in half, and then it'll be the start of the nose. Because they need noses. Oh, you've got a whole mouth, and you put a half a mouth. Does that matter? No, I've put two pieces on, bottom yeah. piece and top piece. Yeah, right. And this last third of mine wasn't quite wet enough, so a bit more glue on it. So it's nice and wet and sticky. As I said, it should feel like clay in your hands. Except unlike clay, it's going to leave glue everywhere. So form that up. Don't forget to shape the top of the nose a little bit so it comes into a bit of a peak. And then get another tissue. Start the process again. And you keep doing this until you have all the features that you want on your Mushroom Man. For those that don't know, Kinchilla Public School is a great little school located on the mid-north coast of New South Wales. It's a fun place to be and they do some fantastic STEM projects all the time with Mrs. Dalman. We sure do. But we've got a bit of a problem at the moment. We're getting a new roof put on, so our classroom is out of use so we've got the seniors had to move into the STEM room so we're going to be working out in the open and that's going to be really good fun to do with this especially in the fun. Uh, At so least I'll have lots of fresh air. Yes, we won't have to worry about the smells. Ah, this glue's not too bad, doesn't smell much at all. Now I'm just going to tear a little bit off the end of this piece to use as the bottom of my nose so my nose is nice and broad. That's what you do. Yeah, just tear bits off. As I said, just treat it like clay. So, yeah, tear it into bits, shape it however you want it, smooth it down onto your piece. Okay, so once you have your nose and mouth and eyes on, you grab another tissue, and this time we're not folding it, we're leaving it single ah. thickness. I'm going to carefully put it over the face. Sorry, put it back so you can see it and put it over the face and then with your brush make sure it's nice and wet with the glue and you're going to push it down onto it like this not brushing side to side so I push it down until it goes over the top of all that face that you just put on oh it shows through it does face. and it smooths it out so it doesn't look like you've just stuck extra bits on. That's actually part of the whole... Uh, we're yeah. inside doing this, but I think the breeze is going to be a bit of a problem when we're doing it outside. Maybe not, because I think we're all pretty clever year four kids. Now, if you have holes in the middle of your eyes, like I do, make sure you press in so the yeah, holes show. Oh, I didn't put holes. Yeah, I have holes. I think he's sleeping mine. He's sleeping mushroom. And once you've got it over the face, you can brush this down over the rest of the stem. And then leave to dry. Because after this, all that's left to do is paint it and decorate the base a bit. So we're going to just finish gluing these on. So as you can see, the face looks a whole lot better with that one layer of tissue over it. I'm going to let these dry and then we're going to slap some paint on. See you guys soon. Now that your mushroom is dry and has a face on it, you need to look at painting it. So we've so far put on a two coats of white paint. Now if you're smart enough to get a red floor mat, you don't need to do this step. But since I had green floor mat here, we have got to paint it white first before we paint it red. Because otherwise, if you just paint red over the green or red over black, you get a weird purplish colour. So once we'd finished painting the cap, we added a little bit of brown, and a little bit of um, orange, a smidgen of yellow, 
until we got a nice stalk colour. So next step is paint the stalk. And make sure you get a nice thick covering so there's no white paper showing through. Now yours aren't going to be soft like mine are because yours will have had a week to dry. So we've just got to be a little bit careful here. So we're going to paint the stalks this yellowy off-white colour, cream maybe. We're going to paint under the cap maybe purple or something else and then paint the top red. So we're going to get all this painted and then come back and show you how it looks. Now that you've got to this stage where the mushrooms all painted, the stalk, the cap with the dots underneath the cap which is a nice purple colour and the base which is green, now is the most important part of the painting process. You go get some very watered down brown paint, we're talking quarter paint, three quarters water, and it looks okay like that, but once you brush the paint on, okay. Make sure to get it all over the face like that. Then grab a clean tissue and wipe off most of it. Which should be pretty easy because most of it's water. Oops, that one was a bit green. Oh well. And by wiping it off, you just get the lines around a bit more definition. Now I've wiped a bit too much off this so it's trial and error. So I'll Try again paying more attention to the lines like where the crevices are, the deeper spots. Okay now that it's in there another clean tissue let's give it a bit more of a wipe. Nice gentle wipe this time and that brings up all the detail in the face. So now the only thing left to do is glue some plastic plants to the base of it and your Mushroom Man is done. So this is my finished Mushroom Man. See any resemblance? So I hope you've enjoyed this project. This is Wolf from Armoury Train saying go out and make something.